8.05 this morning, family and friends, they're remembering a 16-year-old shot and killed in Greenville four years ago. Now, they held a vigil for Kobe Smith last night to ask the community for answers. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Alex Rodriguez is live at the Greenville County Law Enforcement Center, where obviously that vigil is over, but they're saying that they are making this, pre, uh, this case a priority. Right, they are, and, and they are getting more information throughout the years as this goes on. Again, we're talking about four years here, so they do get information, but it's just not what they need in order to uh, make an arrest in this case. They don't have any suspects or persons of interest, but they do want the public to continue to give them any information that they have. This is a look at 16-year-old Kobe Smith. He was shot and killed behind Heritage Apartments on Clark Street four years ago. That's near the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Jack Logan and the Put Down the Guns Now Young People organization host a vigil every year in that same place to keep Kobe's case in people's minds. Logan believes that someone knows something about this shooting that would give Kobe's friends and family the answers they're looking for. Only know who did this and those people are um, part of the problem in the community. I want justice for Kobe and I will not stop until I get justice. I can't wait for the telephone to ring from the Greenville Police Department saying they have their people in custody. Detectives say they have gotten information about this death over the years, but for one reason or another, it just hasn't worked out. But they do say that any tip is a good tip, though, so they want people to continue to reach out. And if you know anything about this, please contact the Greenville Police Department. You can also leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers. That number is 23 Crime. Lauren Ted. All right, Alexa, we'll be sure to check back in just a little bit. Thank you.